on the Pine Ridge Sioux Indian Reservation, also known as Prisoner War Camp 44. And here's the mass grave of the people who were massacred here at Wounded Knee in 1890. The massacre, of course, is well known among all American Indian people, especially of the United States of America as the signature event of Indian history with the government of the United States. So then we had to come into the reservations. We were starved into it. Literally starved into it. But when we came in, we came in with pride and dignity. Even though we had been logistically defeated rather than militarily defeated. We became dependent because our food source was gone on handouts from the federal government. Our starvation rations. And so they herded us up. And the 7th Cavalry, which had been defeated in 1876 uh, at Custer's sensitivity training session, the United States and, the, and its military forces hold immense grudges. He said what happened at Fallujah. They started um, assassinating the leadership, first sitting bull and crazy horse. The last to come in to the reservations and give up their arms. Well, it was a uh, you, uh, Indian leader who was euphemistically called Bigfoot in English. Um, he had his people. Well, the leaders were being, to his mind, systematically uh, assassinated. He headed south with his band of people to come to Pine Ridge and come under the protection of Red Cloud, another leader, he was stopped. They had no weapons, because on the reservation, they took away your weapons. It's just like going to prison. They take away your weapons. They were stopped right up here on top of the hill from my ranch. And there's a sign up there on the way to Wounded Knee. The day before Christmas, they were brought down here. They were brought in from over those hills there and they were camped along, this was a creek then. It's all dried up now, but uh, they put a Hotchkiss gun up there on that hill. You know, the Hotchkiss guns fired rounds about like a 50 caliber. They put them up on the hills over there and up over here. See, then there were no trees. Just brush, and they put a Hotchkiss gun right here. And when it, uh, when the order came, they massacred men, women, and children, over 300. Then after they mowed most of them down, then the cavalry rode in with their sabers and their pistols finished the job with the women and children and old people down in those, those ravines and down by the creek. And it was indiscriminate. They used sabers on, on babies and women. They loved to come along and hack. And it was pretty gruesome. Their story, and the army has to claim this, otherwise they're liable. We're the people who defeated militarily the United States of America, who had built up a string of forts through three states. And we burnt every one of those. He gave them up because we militarily defeated them. Now we're in this bowl, wounded in a bowl, surrounded by the armed might of the United States of America. And we're going to pull out one gun with our women and children and fire a shot. That's what they claim. 
Indian people believe it because we're Indians and we don't have a brain. Unlike Americans who have brains but don't use them. They slaughter us, men, women, and children. And then the blizzard hits and they bury after the blizzard goes by. All the bodies are frozen. And that infamous picture of Chief Bigfoot frozen in, in a horrible way, his body. Then they stack us up. This is before the Nazis and uh, the concentration camps. They stack them up, all our bodies along by this mass grave, and they all take pictures. And then, of course, we got the uh, eyewitness stories in detail from the survivors, Bigfoot, ironically, was running to keep his faithful people safe from the cavalry, and they were all killed instead. This ground is consecrated with our blood. This land now filled with Indians that are absolutely dependent on the government for everything, for everything. At any rate, you depend on the government and what you'll end up with is poverty and a lot of paper. Because everything you do, the government requires a lot of paper. You have to fill out a lot of forms. Then they have to fill out a lot of forms. And then they go up to the next level of government, they gotta fill out a lot of forms. And by the time it gets to where it's supposed to go, nothing happens. We have government health here. Our life expectancy, if you, if you don't count AIDS, is the lowest in the world. Here. We are worse off than people in Haiti. No, you don't want the government taking care of you. I do not speak untruths. It's a never-ending cycle of poverty, dependency on the government. And in order for you to get ahead, you have to be like a congressman. You have to take bribes. You have to steal money. Taxpayers' money. So America is no different than this Indian reservation. You're dependent on the government now, and you're getting what you deserve. But every time you try to get away from the government, they'll kill you. I put you in prison. Or let you become an American. <laughs> if you catch my drift. Because you're the new Indian. You're the new American Indian. Congratulations. Welcome to the club. <clears throat> this land is beautiful. Belongs to us. We should learn to take care of it by fighting for her. She's worth it. And so are we. That's it for the show tonight. Thank you for watching. We'll see you here tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. 
InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. And it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.